Hi, and this is the next in the line of the Echo Foam products. It's an Echo Foam oven cleaner. Now, I'm trying to make it so that all Echo Foam products arrive the same way. They just arrive as a white powder. And you take a measured amount and you pop it into a foamer bottle and you add some water and it turns into this clear solution. This clear solution foams up when pressed out of the bottle. And the whole point of it is not to be shipping waste around. This water is usually readily available and it makes it that much more energy efficient and cheaper if all we do is ship a powder. And also, the bottles are meant to be reused. You reuse them time and time again, so we're not buying a bottle and then throwing it away into landfill. Saving plastic, saving energy, saving the environment. So that's the whole point of these echo foams. And this one is actually meant to be an oven cleaner. Now surprisingly, this one was actually quite a hard one to demonstrate. But uh, in the end, I set up this little thing to try and show you how it works. And what it is, is uh, the next one in my Echo Foam line, and this one is an oven cleaner. Now, when cleaning ovens, what you traditionally use is something like this. Uh, this is pretty powerful stuff. And <laughs> all over the tin, it says, wear gloves, corrosive, highly flammable. So it's dangerous stuff. It's scary stuff. And you're meant to spray it on your oven, leave it a little bit, put on some gloves and gas mask, come and wipe it off. With this one, all you really do is spray it on. Now, um, it's kind of difficult to see inside the oven, so what I did was pick out my oven tray, and as you can see, we use this for cooking uh, beef burgers, bacon, and sausages on, and it gets into quite a state. There's some pretty heavy greasy and, and burning there. And all you do is lift off the worst of the grease, <coughs> throw it away, and then spray on your foam cleaner. Obviously, if you're working in an oven, you cover the whole area of the oven. Once you've sprayed on your foam cleaner, take a sponge scourer and work that around. And your pan comes out nice and clean. And if you want to see how clean that's got it, let's take a nice white towel and wipe it on the inside of the pan. And there you go, absolutely no dirt left in there at all. As for the grill pan, which you can see is pretty bad, take your sponge, spray on a bit of your foam, and work it over your grill pan. Now you don't have to use it from the foamer bottle if you don't want to foam it. It makes it much easier when you're actually doing the inside of an oven to use a foamer because you can just apply it as a foam. If you want to apply it directly to something like the grill pan, then just pour some into your water. The amount you pour in is going to be related to how greasy, how messy it actually is. If it's very heavily soiled, pour a lot in. If it's lightly soiled, just pour a little bit in. And then just leave it to stand for a little bit. So after you've left it to soak for a little bit, just pick it back out and give it a scrub over with your scrubbing cloth. Now, if it is heavily soiled, you will have to scrub it. But don't be fooled by these no scrub formulations. You always have to scrub them. But at least with this one, you won't have to scrub them while wearing protective gear. It's quite safe to handle just in your hands. It's really, really innocuous. Doesn't do you any harm whatsoever. The worse it is, the more and stronger of this you need to use. But it does come up nice and shiny and clean. So this gets your oven and your oven trays clean very, very easily. So does this. It does a good job getting your oven clean. But if you read it, then it says, wear rubber gloves, protect your arms. If you get it on yourself, wash for at least 20 minutes immediately. Don't breathe. Ventilate well while using. Don't use the oven immediately. Use the oven for 30 minutes at least to the high temperature. So you've got to burn off the chemicals it leaves. You've got to be really careful about that. It also says not to get it on rubber, not to get it on zinc, not to get it on plastics, not to get it on copper. Is a whole host of things. You can't leave it on your oven for more than 30 minutes. It's scary stuff. This stuff, well, you could wash your hands with it if you wanted to. It doesn't do you any particular harm at all, and it cleans up beautifully. So here is my oven cleaner, and it works extremely nicely. Anyway, I hope that was fascinating to you, and thank you for watching.